Right, well, the holidays come with joy, cheer, but also large amounts of stress. We're joined by Cindy Cohn with ways we can bring the joy back to the season. Hi, Cindy. Hi, so much for having me on today. You're welcome. You're welcome. So um, you are also known as what was it? You had a moniker. The joy. Queen of Joy. The what? The Queen of Joy. The queen of, the joy. Queen of oh, joy. joy. All right. So I know holidays can be tough for a lot of people, especially when we've, we're missing the people that we've lost in our lives. Absolutely. Uh, or just, you know, broken hearts. There, there's a lot. There's a lot. Are you by yourself? So you have some suggestions of how we can bring that joy back, especially to get through the holidays. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, the first and foremost thing is you could change your physical atmosphere. Um, when you're feeling down, surround yourself with areas of your like your your car, your home, your office, and spruce it up. Put bright, colorful things. Wear colorful things. Um, things that bring you joy. You can light candles. Candles release dopamine, um, lower your cortisol, and will help you. Um, feel more peaceful, um, create, put inspirational messages around things that bring you uplifting and joy is a good starting point. Yeah. And the next one is let your inner child out. I'll tell you something about good day and something I think that we pride ourselves in or on is always letting our inner child out. And hopefully people at home can feel that as well. This is my absolute favorite thing to do. I did it already this morning. I love to sing songs at the top of my lungs as loud as I can. Preferably, I love holiday songs, like king things I did as a kid, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Just fun songs will lift up your mood. But what about presents? Wrapping presents with too much tape, uh, like we did when we were five. Um, forget about perfectionism. And like, what about doing snow angels if it's snowing? Just connecting back to your youth will give you more joy. Scatter joy, what do you mean by that? Give out as much as you can. The more you give, the more comes back. It triggers the reward center in your brain. So it actually helps you feel more joyful as well as what you're giving out. So if you can give, volunteer, bake, pay it forward, the more you give, I promise you, you will get more joy back for yourself. I agree with yeah. that. Let's talk about the mental health here. Mindset makeover, another big tip. It is huge. So our mind controls our emotions. So if we tell our mind that we are joyful and that we look for positive things, it will expand. So if you focus on things that are positive and those positive things are there in front of you, make a gratitude list. There's always something to be thankful for. The little things, the smell of your coffee, your coffee cup, your book, your cozy blanket. There's the little things in life truly are the big things. You just have to focus on them. Okay, and last one here, go old school. We always like to do that. That's that's my favorite. 58% of people say they feel negatively impacted by social media, yet we're still on it. Um, so if you just take a holiday hiatus, um, you'll see a huge difference in the more in the joy that you'll have in your life. And then it might even continue on. It's, I've done it for a long time now. At first, I thought the go old school would be, you know, doing the running man or the cabbage patch, but that's not what she meant. <laughs> All right. How do people follow you or find your book? Yeah, so my book is on LinkedIn. I mean, sorry, my book is on Amazon, um, and it's called More Joy. Where to find me is LinkedIn. Um, I Every single day I post motivational um, quotes and Perfect. reflections. I love it. Amazing. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.